Hi, um, welcome back. Um, I'm going to show you some wet mounting today. Um, I'm working on a nice clean acrylic board um, and I just need to chop down my paper now. Um, so I've got a print here of three scallop shells on Chinese ram paper um, and this second sheet of paper is a Japanese mass of paper. I'm just kind of measuring it out so that I can get it about the right size um, to use as my backing paper for my wet mounting. Um, so once I'm happy that it's got a border all the way around the print, I'm going to take a ruler and just use that to um, cut the paper down to the right size. I'll discard the excess and now I have the two sheets of paper that I need for the task. So just move the ruler and stuff out of the way. Oh no, first of all I am um, taking a cardboard tube which was for some silver foil and I'm wrapping that mass of paper around the cardboard tube so I can roll it out later. Um, it just It's just for ease when I'm working with bigger prints. So I'm going to take my print onto a nice clean acrylic board and um, I'll flip that over so that it's face down on the board. Um, but to make this more challenging, I'm just going to screw this up into a really tight little ball. There we go. Now let's unfurl that and see how it looks. Um, it should be super creased and super crinkly. This is just really to prove how good this technique is for flattening out work. So I'm going to start off with some tap water and just in a spray bottle spritz that all over the back of the print to relax the paper. And once that is done, um, I'll start applying the glue. The glue is a flour and water glue. Um, it's quite thin. It's about the consistency of milk. And I'm using um, a goat hair brush with a bamboo handle. It's nice and broad so you can sweep it across the paper and you can see that I'm starting off working from the centre and taking the glue out to the side so make a kind of cross across the paper and you can just see all those creases just completely disappear it's quite incredible really how this process works it's a really old process it's been used in Japan and China for, for centuries um, and works incredibly well um, for uh, wet mounting paper to paper. Um, I think they use it also for making silk scrolls and it's the same kind of process that would be used to make the the paper screens in Japanese homes as well. So once uh, the glue has been applied all over the back of the print, excuse my head bobbing in front of the camera, um, just getting one final little crease out there. Uh, once the glue's been applied evenly all over the back of the print and I'm happy that I've got air bubbles and creases out, um, I'll apply my backing paper. Is that my final run through with the, the glue? Um, so here's the backing paper which I've rolled around the cardboard tube. Um, I'll just take a couple of goes to get that rolling out in the right way so that it doesn't run off the back of the print. Just line it up and then start to roll it out. And I'm going to take a second brush in a minute. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Um, and the second brush is made from, um, it's much stiffer, it's made from palm fibre. And that's vigorously rubbed across the back of the backing paper and this process really um, pushes the two sheets of paper together so that they can bond with each other. Now the mass of paper seems to dry a bit faster than the Juan paper, so I, I always turn my prints over now. So I'm putting some glue on the back of the Japanese mass of paper, the backing paper, all the way around the edge. And then I'm gonna flip my print over um, if I don't do this, because the one paper dries faster than the other, they, um, they tend to pop off the board with a kink in them and they're not flat, so they're no good for framing. So I'm flipping it over and then I'll use the palm fibre brush again just to take the last pockets of air out from underneath the print. 
one of the corners just caught there slightly so I'm just relaying that and there we go um, yeah just go over the whole thing with the palm fiber brush and just take all the last bits of air out from underneath it um, you can see the ink is very stable it's an acrylic screen printing ink that I've used to make this print so it's it's very stable even when it's wet it's permanent and light fast um, so perfect for this sort of work um, and then I'll just leave that now to dry for 12 to 24 hours and uh, tomorrow I'll be able to peel that off the board. Thanks for watching.